Today I'm making a delicious and refreshing homemade iced tea. I add mango and fresh orange for a fruity twist. You don't want to miss this. So first to get started on our mango orange iced tea. So I have four cups of water, brought it to a boil. I put it in my tea kettle. You can certainly use just a regular old stock pot or sauce pot. And then I have four tea bags. So these are black tea bags. And I'm gonna fill it all the way up because we have the right amount of liquid we need in here. So the key to making the perfect iced tea, we don't want it to be bitter. We're gonna let the tea bags steep for three minutes and then take them out. So it's been three minutes. And then I like to squeeze out the tea bags. That way we get all that infused black tea flavor. Okay, pretty easy. I mean, we're making iced tea, right? It's not rocket science. Sugar. So now I'm just gonna let this sit at room temperature. Stir it, obviously, until the sugar melts and just let it completely come to room temperature. And then prep our pitcher before we add it to our pitcher. We don't wanna crack the glass. All right, while it's sitting, here's the best part. So this is what makes it mango and orange. So cheating a little bit. I'm adding mango nectar. So this is an easy way to infuse great flavor. So two cans, and then one large fresh orange. So really it's not that difficult. All we're doing is slicing it. We're going to throw it right into the pitcher and it's going to infuse great flavor. And it makes for a really nice garnish when you're serving each individual iced tea glass. This is great summertime coming up if you're having a just a light little party on a Sunday this is so nice that everybody can have a refreshing drink sometimes people don't want to have a cocktail so this is a nice alternative to make it a little extra special and the orange really bumps so much great flavor then we're gonna add some fresh mint and we're gonna save some fresh mint also for when we garnish each glass. Our tea has cooled. Now we can add it into the pitcher, but of course, I'm making a mess. <laughs> it's not a party until I make a mess in the kitchen. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna cover this, put it into the refrigerator and fully let it chill. And then we're going to have a really delicious, refreshing beverage. Now this would be so ideal for a brunch. But you can do like I do and make it any day of the week. My son loves it. Some mint in there. I'm going to be a little ladylike and use a straw. It is so delicious. It just screams spring, summertime. For this recipe, head over to the newspaper's website. And thanks for joining me today. I'm Shereen with Cook This. Until next time.